the biggest impact from the way we see it from the Internet of Things will be in the manufacturing sector. And a lot of other studies agree with us. And it's not just the manufacturing sector itself, it's a specific the, the change in, in service provision among manufacturers. So the classic uh, story is, uh, that illustrates this quite well is, is Rolls-Royce Power by the Hour, where Rolls-Royce, as an engine aircraft engine manufacturer, instead of just selling their engines to the airlines, they provide the entire engine as a service proposition. So they turn a product into a service. And they remain in charge of the product. They uh, will do the, the maintenance. And they provide the, 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 the engine together with a service package of all the maintenance to the airline. So that's an, a process that we call a servitization. It's the shift from selling a product for a manufacturer, selling a product, to providing the product together with a service as, as one big package. And the IoT is the, the, key, the critical link to make this happen. The IoT allows the manufacturer to monitor the product, may ensure that the product provides the services that is expected and that the manufacturer is contracted to do. The IoT provides the opportunity to, to advance the product for the manufacturer. So it is not just the IoT itself that creates the value. It's the IoT together with a change in business model. And this particular change we are interested in, and we think is one of the most powerful links, um, um, uh, revenue generation link for monetizing the Internet of Things, is the, um, the servitization business model. So even within this servitization business models, there's huge variation of how organizations are actually doing it. There's huge variations in the way a manufacturer provides services and the level of service they provide to their customers. So our research at the Advanced Services Group was looking at the different ways organizations provide services, especially manufacturers, and then link this back to the different, uh, different value propositions and the different benefits they can get from the IoT for these specific um, service propositions.